Hey, everybody. God bless you. Hey, have you been checking your fruit? The fruits of the Spirit being manifested in you? What fruits are we talking about? We found, we're talking about the fruits found in Galatians 5, 22 to 23. Now, the fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. These are the characteristics of the Holy Spirit being manifested through you to the world. And Jesus gave a new commandment. He said in John 13, 34, a new commandment I give unto you that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. Verse 35 said, and this is how the world will know that you are my disciples based on the love that you have for one another. And I've been using lately Matthew 12, 33, say either make the tree good and its fruit good, or make the tree corrupt and its fruit corrupt, for a tree is known by its fruit. And I'm asking you, when I say, have you checked your fruit today? You also need to say, what are you being known for? Are you being known being good fruit or corrupt fruit? And I was looking and I've been looking at our history and, you know, I'm not even talking about this CRT. I'm talking about the fact of just history and the fact of the bad things that mankind has done. And some have done it in the name of, they believe they're doing it in the name of God. You can have people sit there trying to, and I really think it's all about a status, trying to protect the status. And have done things so, so egregious from keeping somebody from being educated. You know, those who were in slavery, they weren't even allowed to read. And when they came out of slavery, they weren't taught, they had to teach themselves. People was lynched, people was mutilated, all for protecting what, a status? Just a status, just a recognition, just to be recognized by man, but not recognized by God. What are you gonna do? You know, I'm looking at this in Mark 8, 36 said, For what shall it profit a man if he should gain the whole world and lose his own soul? So when you're trying to get a status that's recognized by man, what does it profit you? And verse 37 said, Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? What will you do? What has been done? And why are you allowing it to still happen in your life and pass it down to your children? What would you do in exchange for your soul? Verse 38 said, Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. Jesus coming back, Jesus gave us his word. Are we obeying his word or are we trying to gain status? Check your fruit today because God loves you and I do too. Amen.